Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Charles Adelson trial. Catherine McBanua talking in code. And Katie is going to kind of shed some light on this code that we've been hearing in wiretaps. And she's going to tell us exactly what they were talking about. And this little chart here has answered so many of my questions and just kind of verified a lot of Katie's uh, testimony this morning kind of verified our thoughts of what the truth was and it was nice to hear her come clean but I think that this will also be interesting because there were some code that Donna was talking in and that definitely shows guilt. I wish that Katie knew more about Wendy and Donna. That was kind of disappointing to me but her testimony was Definitely great. People thought that Katie wouldn't testify. I think it was so important for the state to get her up there. So let's go into some of this code. And, you know, we also heard that this, the murder for hire idea was Charlie's. And this happened at a Halloween party. Another interesting thing from this morning, uh, the mold on the money was so crazy. I mean, Donna watching the money. Can you imagine Donna getting like, soap bubbles on her hands and like finding some way to dip the money in water or bleach or something. I'm going to have to do a video about that. Like how, how do you wash money? Uh, the listing is actual paperwork from the second extortion from the police. And then phishing code was police. And then um, I'm still waiting to hear what the, t I guess the TV was the murder, but I don't think I heard Catherine verify that. I think we should definitely stay tuned for more code that Donna used. And then the good investment was, uh, you know, the good lead was also the blackmail plot. So them referencing the good investment, good lead was the whole police blackmail bump. Uh, the paperwork was the paperwork that they were handed. Uh, so the client was the thug or Luis Rivera and um, a couple extra things that I thought were really interesting that the Adelsons made a recording of their conversation with police officer who was doing the bump. I thought that that was really interesting. I wonder if we'll ever hear that. And then also, I thought it was so great when Katie said that'd be impossible for Lewis and Sigfredo to find Dan Markell's house. She was kind of um, echoing the state's sentiment there. And then... You know, I guess we learned Katie was offered some kind of nifty immunity deal, which was shot down over and over again. They were saying Katie was not offered any immunity deal. So I guess that is true that she was offered some sort of immunity deal. And really did not pay for her attorneys, which is just absolutely shocking. And I guess we're all speculating that they did it for free. But um, other than that, look forward to more videos. I'm going to kind of do these in little digestible bites and I think that that's more comfortable for me so I can kind of enjoy watching and getting more content from for you all um, I hope to be there for the verdict I definitely am looking forward to producing at least um, a couple of videos a day breakout videos different topics that picking very specific topics and for uh, those of you who stumble onto my channel, thank you so much for watching and liking and subscribing and more videos to come. And I'll definitely be sharing things that are interesting to me during the trial. I might jump on and do a live on Wednesday, Wednesday evening, uh, maybe around 7 p.m. All right. Thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day.